All right, you should now have a sector with a radius of 120 meters located 90 meters in front of the blade and another sector of 240 meters located 180 meters behind the blade. So next thing we'll do here is we're going to create a solid body out of these sketches. So we're going to go into create and select the skin loft tool. Now select both of these sketches and click apply. And notice here that the operation is to add material. And now click generate. So we now have a fluid solid body. Well, not yet. Um, we actually need to specify that he's actually a fluid. So we're going to go here and select fluid. And we're going to change its name actually so that it's less confusing. So just name it fluid. Do you see how the icon of the solid body that we just created is opaque while all the bodies that we initially had, the surface bodies, are all transparent? So this is a concept called body states. The transparent bodies are in a frozen state while the opaque body is in an active state. The main difference is that active bodies will merge automatically with bodies in contact or overlapping with it, while frozen bodies will remain independent entities. You can freeze or unfreeze body under the tools menu here. In our case, we won't need to worry about body states, um, but this is an important concept to know. You can always learn more about various concepts like these in the help menu. We now have one last step to do, and it is to subtract the blade solid body from the fluid solid body. And to do this, we're going to go into Create and select Boolean. Now for the operation, we'll change it to Subtract. And our target body will be our fluid solid body. And our tool body will be our blade solid body. And click Generate. Okay, so did it work as we wanted? Um, so we noticed that the blade solid body is gone, which is good. Um, let's look at the wireframe view. Oh, would you look at that? Um, looks like our blade is here. It turned into an empty space. Cool, perfect. So you might have wondered why we chose to draw the fluid geometry this way. Um, so, if you examine the geometry, you'll notice that it covers exactly uh, one-third of a full circle. So if we basically make two more copies of this geometry, we can visualize a full turbine rotor. Um, we're going to come back to this idea later, though. Um, also notice how we defined our geometry to be larger in the back. And this is because we're not exactly sure how the fluid will behave after interacting with the blade and so we wish to have a sufficiently large volume to make sure to include all important fluid behaviors. And uh, let's finish by saving our project.